Everyone thinks they know San Francisco. We've got the Golden Gate Bridge, the cable cars, and those colorful old Victorians. But there's another side of San Francisco. Selma. When you come to Soma, you don't always know what you're looking at. There's no guarantee there's going to be a big sign on the outside telling you what's really going on on the inside. Take, for example, the building behind me. That's 1015 Folsom Street. During the day, it's not much to look at, but at night, it becomes one of the hottest nightclubs in all of San Francisco. And then there's this address, 74 Oda Street. As you can see, it's fairly nondescript. There's no big sign telling you what's really happening here. Insiders know it's home to a club called the Power Exchange. And it's not like any other club you've seen in the world. It's kind of like a theme park for adults only. Inside the Power Exchange, you'll find a world where people come to act out their most intimate fantasies in front of other people. It's a massive place, 40,000 square feet. As you wander through, you'll find dozens of little areas designed to represent situations where lovers might meet. Some are classic settings, like something from a romance novel, such as a king's castle or an ancient Egyptian tomb. There's even a gothic twist, like this room that looks like a mad scientist laboratory. People come to the power exchange as couples or as singles looking to meet someone new. The choices and fantasy situations represent the entire spectrum. In the novel Soma, one of the characters is brought here to the power exchange. He's shown all this, and then he's forced to make a choice. What he decides changes his life. Would you choose one of these fantasies? Maybe the power exchange is a lot like people. From the outside, you can't always tell what's going on on the inside. What do you think about that? I'd like to hear from you. And thanks for tuning in.